Hey, so Tracker One here with a new video. So what you can see here behind me, it's all boom lifts. So this is what they take. With this load, it's one of my favorite because the way how they put the attachment on it, so it's easier to fix. So stay tuned here, check this video here, and uh, tell you how much I made with this very short trip. So stay tuned. I, I here. can tell you this is my one of my favorite. It's because it's pretty easy. They make it easy for you to tidy down. So you can see here, I put two chains forward. The, the axe is a little bit crooked, so the chain here is a little bit more closer to the tire than that one. So it was much more better if they put it straight, but uh, yeah, I didn't drive it up. And for me, it was good enough. And then I have here another big ring and I use two points. You can see here the chain between them. So one point like this and then the rest of the chain you go around and you still do it here. And this way you use one chain, but you have two independent points. So I have one backwards, one forward. So in this way, I don't have to put over there because they're much more longer. So I use it here just for one chain. And then in the back here, I have two crossing. You can see here, going all the way back there. And then I will put the extra chain just for this. It's not really moving, but uh, we'll see how this... Uh, I'm gonna go to the scale first and figure out uh, what's the weight. Should be all legal, so I'm legal size. Never know with the weight. I did one of this before and I was a little bit overweight. But uh, yeah, I don't know if it was the same brand. But I remember was, I was a couple of thousand over. So I have to go and check the weight on this. And then I will finish this video. So stay tuned here, guys. And this way we're gonna see if this is gonna move. But since it's hydraulic, could move, can, but yeah. We'll see this into the truck stop. And then we're gonna see if we're gonna put a extra chain for this cabin. For precaution, it's better to have it because you never know on the road, bumpy roads and all that stuff. So stay tuned here, we're gonna finish the video pretty soon. Okay guys, so uh, lucky me, I'm only 80,500 pounds, so that's good. Still have half of the tank of the diesel. And since this is a very short trip, no perm is necessary. So that means a little bit more money in my pocket. So I can see here, I didn't put no chain on this because it's not moving. And the other thing is, it's right in this corner here on the trailer. So it's not gonna go nowhere. Forward cannot go because it's all the way pull in and not backwards because it's not gonna move, so. So anyway, so that's it. This is very short, how I said, this is going from Indiana to Tennessee. It's only 385,385 miles. And for me, it will be 700 bucks since no permit. So if it was with the permits, probably I will do it 600 bucks. But 700 is not too bad. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.